Hi guys! So I have so far made videos on my favorite lipsticks for brown skin, my favorite blushes for brown skin, and now I am finally doing my favorite eyeshadows for brown skin. I personally have over, I want to say like over 100 MAC eyeshadows. Number one, because I used to work there, so I got a sick discount. I think my eyeshadows came out to be like fine, we had some change, so it was really, really a great deal, so I picked up a lot of eyeshadows. Um, and two, um, I just think MAC eyeshadows are the absolute best. I've tried numerous different brands, and MAC eyeshadows are definitely the, the best and worth the investment. Um, so, you know, even though I have so many eyeshadows, I always reached for the same colors. And I just wanted to show you guys my top 10, and these are universal colors, not just for brown skin, for any skin tone, but they definitely complement my brown ladies. So let's just get right into it. So just so you guys know, I will be demonstrating, as usual, everything on my eyes so you guys can really see what these products look like on a skin tone. If you guys don't know, I am an NC42, just in case you need to know. Um, and I'm starting, I prime my eyelids with the Painterly Paint Pot. This, you guys, is the best paint pot ever. Um, it's a really great base. It just neutralizes your eyes, and I love it. Um, this is a brand new one. I, I actually used up... I don't even know how many of these in the past so yeah love this stuff and the first eyeshadow I'm gonna be talking about is satin taupe from Mac and I'm sure you guys have heard of this color it's a beautiful beautiful um, taupey color it has a really nice like sheen to it it's a really great color for every day I do wear this a lot um, like I said you can wear it for every day just a wash of this all over your lids or you guys can put it on all of your lids and then just blend it out with one of the darker colors that I'll be showing you. And it's just a really great color. It's just a really, really flattering, nice color. So here it is on. So there you guys go. That is Satin Taupe. I seriously love this, guys. Like I said, great skin tones. And actually, this is a really flattering color for my darker ladies as well. If you have really dark skin tone, this would be really, really pretty on you. The next color that I absolutely love is Wood Winked by MAC. I'm sure you guys have heard of this color and you can see I have hit major pan on this guy. I love this. This is a seriously like the most flattering color for darker skin tones. And it just goes on so pretty, guys. So here it is. And it has just a, the most beautiful gold sheen ever. I don't know how well this works for the lighter girls, but definitely really, really pretty. You can see how gorgeous this is on my skin tone. I love it. I get so many compliments on this, and it just stays put. It just gives you seriously a really nice sheen. Love this color. Okay, so my next two colors are two colors are highlight colors only. Of course, you can use this all over your eyelids. I personally don't. I use it just for highlighting and in my inner corners, and I love it so much. So the first color is Rice Paper by MAC, and then I have Shroom by MAC. So this is Rice Paper, this is Shroom. Rice Paper is definitely a lot more yellow based, and Shroom is a really nice, just like a really pretty highlight color. It's a little bit more pink based. So love these guys, and they are very different, and I do think if you're looking for some highlight colors, I do recommend both of them. I couldn't pick one over the other. I mean, I guess if I really had to, I would pick Shroom, it's a little bit more versatile than um, Rice Paper, but honestly, I reach for Rice Paper more than Shroom, so oops, I just dropped it, guys. Um, I'll show you guys just what I exactly how I use these. So the first one is Rice Paper, and I just like to put this under my eyes, and this is my favorite um, highlight color, guys, because it's just so intense and it's so bright. I love it. So that is what I use this for and then I just like to blend it out obviously I'm not really doing a good job with this right now um, I also do like to use this in my inner corners just to really open my eyes I'm not really gonna put that much on right now but there you go and then the other color shroom which I'm gonna do on the other eye is also really pretty um, highlight it's just a little bit more sheer than rice paper and not so yellow based I definitely do think that shroom you know especially now that I'm putting it next to rice paper is a lot more versatile 
But still, I love rice paper. I really, really do. So there we go. And there we go. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I definitely can. So yeah, those are my two favorite highlights. My next eyeshadow, which is actually my favorite out of all these eyeshadows. I seriously love this stuff, you guys, and I use it with all my eye looks. And I am talking about Texture Eyeshadow by MAC. Um, this is just a really nice, it's not matte, it's like a satin brown. Just a really nice warm brown. I do think, and I definitely recommend all my brown ladies to go run out and get this right now. Um, it's just a really, I don't ever use this all over my lid. I've never even tried it. I just use this for blending in my crease. And I'm not, I don't want to use a primer on this. I just want to show you guys what a lovely job it does without even the primer. So I have nothing on my eyelids and I'm just going to show you what I do with this when I use it. I literally just put it in my crease and blend it just like this. It is seriously like the best transition color. So let's say if you are using like a dark all over your eye for a smoky eye and you need something to blend the smoky eye with the highlight, this is the color. One of the other colors that is not my personal favorite for myself, but it is one of the best sellers for brown skin, darker skin tones, and it's just a really versatile color. A lot of these, you know, my Indian girls used to come by the counter and would want like a smoky eye and they would want to do it with gold mine. This is a really, really great versatile color, guys. It's just a really true gold color. I, like I said, I don't really reach for this personally for myself very much. Um, because I don't really wear this but if I was going to like an Indian party I would definitely wear this I do love it on other people and I I wanted to include this because I just think it's a really versatile color and I know my Indian girls would love this it's just a really nice I'll show you guys how it looks on it's a really nice gold color really that's all I can really say about it so there it is guys there's gold mine for you it would be really pretty with like a dark brown um, in your crease for like a smokier look but it is very pretty so yeah this is one of max best-selling eyeshadows so I did want to include this for you guys so if you're still with me we're almost through this video I just have four more eyeshadows to show you and these are the darker colors which is why I wanted to save them for the end so let's just talk about the dark browns that I love um, I think it's really essential to have some dark matte browns in your eyeshadow just because they're so versatile. You can create smoky eyes, you can just put them in your crease just to define your crease. So I definitely think that matte brown eyeshadows are really a great investment in your kit. So the very first one that I think is amazing, very universal color is Embark by MAC. It's just a really pretty dark, um, cool based brown. I love this. It's totally matte. I use this for almost all my smoky eye guys. I love putting this all over my crease. I don't really want to try it out for you because it'll just look sloppy if I do it on my eyes without really having a full look with this. But it's a really pretty like um, red based brown. It's not very red based. It's just a really perfect dark brown color. I love this. Um, again, this is one of Max best sellers, and I can see why because it's, it is very, very versatile. So if you're looking for a good dark brown color, I think this is the way to go. And next best eyeshadow, which I also use a lot, this is a brand new one, is Beauty Mart. And it is just a true black with really nice specks of like um, maroon glitter. The thing with this is, the reason why I love this eyeshadow, guys, is if you have a primer and you pack this color on your lid with like um, like one of these brushes. What is this brush? Uh, 239, I think. I forgot. I used to know all the numbers. But if you pack it with like a flat eyeshadow brush like this on your eyes and you really just pack it on, you will definitely get the glitter on your eyes. It's just, it creates a really pretty look. If you take like a blending brush like this, this is a 217 by MAC and you use it on you use it in your crease if you just go like this the glitter will all fall so this can, you can use just as a black as well so what i'm really trying to say is you guys can really do get you guys really do get two colors in one from this eyeshadow so i love this again i don't want to try it on because i think it'll just look sloppy um 
on my eyelids, but I do love Beauty Marked so much. Okay guys, we're on our last two eyeshadows and I wanted to save my favorite colorful eyeshadows for the last. And yes, these are not bright colors, but I do think that these are very, very great, amazing colors by MAC. So let's get right into it. The very first one is Deep Truth from MAC. This is this one and the next eyeshadow is one of MAC's best sellers. I feel like all the ones, I said that about all of them, but I'm not making this up, guys. You guys can check out MAC.com or MACCosmetics.com and these will come up. I love this blue, guys. I am at a point in my life where I don't like, like, crazy colors on my lids. I used to, I used to do, like, neon green eyeshadows and hot pink lips and I'm just... I'm just too old for that now guys so I love when I do like to wear colors on my lids I like it to be very subtle and and just I love creating smoky eyes but with dark colors so I will try this out for you guys this is just the most beautiful dark blue ever guys I love this I hope I don't get any fallout um, let's see so this is deep truth you do have to pack this on, but it's like a denim color almost. It's just really, really pretty, and it's so universal, guys. You know, you if you're dark or if you're light or if you're brown, this will look good on you no matter what. So here I am packing it on. So here is Deep Tooth for you guys. I'm so sorry I did such a sloppy job just blending it in and just packing it on, but I did want to move on to the next color. Love this color. Definitely buy it if you're looking for a colorful MAC eyeshadow, but you don't want to get like a neon blue. So this is a really great, very, very versatile dark blue. So guys, we are on our last favorite eyeshadow from MAC. My favorite eyeshadow from MAC. And I haven't used this color in such a long time, and I just took it out of my collection, and I'm like, why the hell have I not used this color? I am talking about Humid from MAC. Oh my god, you guys, this is such a pretty, like, mossy green color. It's so beautiful, guys. I love this stuff. I mean, I just, it's just so pretty. The texture of this color is very, very similar to Deep Truth. Unfortunately, I have these depotted, but I don't know if these are satin. But they both do look like satin because they do have, like, a sheen to it. But yeah, love this. So I will probably look like a clown with two different eyeshadows, but hey, I'll do anything for you guys. So here it is on. So guys, here it is the humid eyeshadow on. I love it. It's so beautiful and I probably look crazy here with two different eyeshadows. And I did manage to get a little bit of fallout from humid because I was rushing and getting this on so fast. So yeah, I love these. I loved all the eyeshadows that I showed you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to wash my face and then I am going to record some more videos for you guys. So yeah, if you have any requests, please leave it in the comments below and I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day, night, evening, morning, whatever. Thanks guys. Bye. Mwah.